The devastating defeat on penalties after 120 minutes in the Andalusian heat will be a major test for their resolve. How will they react? And how can the men from Edinburgh take advantage? Hearts will look to find any weakness. European group stage football is already secured for Robbie Nielsen's side of Sevilla. Will come to Peter Haring. He had to stretch, and it's a Rangers free kick. And Willie Collum is across with the yellow card. It was Calvin Bassey that was caught by Peter Haring. Well, it's Joe Rebo initially battling with Peter Haring. Bassey goes and clears the ball. I've got to say, it's a reckless challenge, isn't it, from Peter Haring? Sims, but now here's Liam Boyce and Sims closing in! And it clips the outside of the post, Ellis Sims with a glorious chance to open the scoring for Hearts. You want them to put a little bit of doubt into the Rangers player's mind. Ryan Kent it is, who just switches off a little bit, doesn't pick up the second ball. Liam Boyce actually miss hits the ball across the face of goal. Sometimes that's the perfect pass, but Ellis Sims Will he get a better chance in this game? Well, to a lead, Liam Boyce. Kent. Bassi, it's a great delivery, what a chance for Ahmed Diallo. Well, the ball in was inch perfect, and Ahmed Diallo should have opened the scoring. He done was put his hands in his head, but he mentioned it earlier about Calvin Bassi. Relentless up and down that left-hand side, that's a wonderful ball. It's had Rangers' best chance of this final. And after picking up that yellow card just a few minutes ago, he will now make way for Scott Wright, who comes on for his 50th appearance for Rangers. Coming on for Hearts, but there'll be Rangers who make the first change. Stephen Davis makes way and with his contract up. Come the end of the season, it could be a final farewell, we shall see. Ryan Jack comes on for him. This Hearts back line. So James Tavernier, they've had plenty of these types of situations. Can they make one count? It's just over the top. Leon Balogun. You know, it's the first time this afternoon that Hearts have lost header in their own 18-yard box. Halkett and Suter and Kingsley have been dominant, but Balogun just gets up above the ball, can't direct it down low enough. That's a big chance. Maybe just the presence of John Suter. The majority of the time in the second half, they're the aggressors trying to make things happen. It's a rebound! What an unbelievable save from Craig Gordon! And come up with a stunning stop. I think it's as clear a penalty as you see. Tavernier swinging delivery, the header from Scott Wright. It clicks, clips the top of the bar and goes over. They just can't find a way through. Yeah, Scott Wright, I have to say, has been excellent since he came on. Would have been the unlikely match winner with the header, certainly. <laughs> Haven't witnessed that too often, but once it leaves his head, it's always rising. Tavernier again whipped in with pace. It's Halkett. Comes out to Ryan Jack! Ryan Jack with the strike at long last! That put Rangers in front in the Scottish Cup final! Knocked down! But Rangers have risen! Scotland's number one, and boy, is this special! They get it clear, it's all but the first touch for Ryan Jack, he sets himself up perfectly. He just puts his head down. And he just strikes the ball right beyond Craig Gordon. He's claiming for a handball. I'm not too sure who's claiming it off, but Ryan Jack with such venom in the strike, just what Rangers needed. And I have to say, based on the, path, the way the game has gone, it's just what Rangers have deserved. They've been the better team, they've been the stronger team. What a way to break the deadlock. That 
Wilkinson. Couldn't quite find Haring. Rangers will break here with Kent. A rebound to the left, right to the right. It does come to Scott Wright. What a finish! Deadly Scott Wright. And that might just be the killer blow that ends Rangers' long, long wait for Scottish Cup glory. But it's a perfect counter attack. Ran Kent's got energy, he's got legs. Scott Wright is the exact same. But just when you needed him to settle himself down, have a little composure, he absolutely does that. His first touch just takes the ball a little bit wider. Craig Gordon has to adjust the setting, but the minute he strikes it, it's into the bottom corner. Even a goalkeeper of the quality of Craig Gordon isn't stopping that. It's been a blistering few minutes for Rangers, and that may just be enough, may just be enough. McInef, or Halliday. Trying to knock that one past his old teammate. The final whistle goes. Giovanni Van Bronckhorst celebrates. Rangers have won the Scottish Cup. From the crushing low of Wednesday night to an almighty high. The wait may have been too long. But Rangers' name is back on the Scottish Cup.